Friends, we have been told by the mystics, we have been told by the ones we respect the most, that the problem with our existential distress is that it's, well, it lacks perspective. It is like a monoculture. You're sort of stuck in the egoic shell. And the problem with that singular perspective is that it robs you from the communion and connection and transcalar ecstasy of experiencing afresh the hardly bearable ecstasy of direct energy exploding on our nerve endings, as Timothy Leary said. What do I mean by this? Well, it seems that we are suspended in paradox. We are at once mortal and divine. We are at once fetching water and chopping wood, trying to survive as a fragile being stuck in time. But we are at the same time a marvelous conduit in a timeless hole from which molecules and meanings flow from neurons to nebula and back again. We are part of a continuity. We are part of a transcalar isness, a quality of being that is, mathematics that exists instead of nothing, that we come from a lineage of beingness that exceeds us. The fact that there is something instead of nothing proves at once God. It proves at once that there are mathematical forces at play. There are properties of being. There are particles and wave functions and elements and chemistry and patterning. There is self-organizing assemblages of beingness that exist transcalarly below us, above us, beyond us, beneath us, before us, and after us and are not separate from us. And the realization at once that we are a way for the cosmos to know itself, but we are not separate from that cosmos, and we are instead a flourishing that becomes aware that it is a conduit, a marvelous conduit in a timeless hole from which molecules and meanings flow from neurons to nebula and back again. We are the nebula, we are the neurons, we are the particles, we are the atoms, we are the self-transforming machine elves. We are the hierophanous thing that is born out of nothing. We are the patterns of information that governs the properties of biology, and we are the chemistry that leads to that biology. And we are the atoms that lead to the physics, that lead to the celestial bodies, that lead to the Goldilocks zone, that lead to the self-organizing assemblages of self-aware entities that are talking about what we are. That is a mystical experience. The final seeing of the all of it quality of our being. The Mysterium Tremendum is the realization that is like a shattering and also an ejaculatory moment of being at once autopoesis, the thing that creates itself out of nothing, all of it, cosmos, you, a mere droplet in a sea of being, that which exists instead of nothing. And that should be enough to put us at existential ease, that we are part of something incandescent, that shines with the light of creation. Nothing dies in this perspective. Nothing begins and nothing ends, only transforms. And there is beauty in this realization. There is beauty and grace in this realization. The kind of grace that we need more of in this world as we ride the human experience into the cosmos. Let us remember who we are. Let us remember who we are. And let us relish in this ravishing. Let us relish in this ravishing.